Hello everybody. Uh, this is April. Welcome to the TLP Gardening Channel. Um, I'm bringing y'all out here with me this morning just to show you a few things. I am, my garden's looking rough, just to be real honest. I didn't plant in the fall and those of you who saw my intro video uh, when I first started, uh, there was snow on the ground. So I'm getting out here to direct sow a few things and put a couple starts out here. Um, and I just wanted to bring y'all out here this morning to show you what I do and talk to you a bit so y'all keep me company also. All right. Okay. All right. Let's go. I'm going to set y'all down here so hopefully y'all can see. Give y'all the right vantage point here. Might need to bring it down just a little. Can y'all see that good? Let me see here. If I need to adjust it, I'll, I'll adjust it again. Let's see. I think that's better. There we go. All right. So, y'all, I got my, my broccoli here. Look at this. So, that's my broccoli starts. I want to go ahead and get those out, out of my house. And out here, we got some good weather. Um, it's going to start being days in the 50s, and I have... My marigolds, which I'm not going to plant all of these in this um, with the broccoli, but um, I just heard it's good to diversify and have flowers, and I usually have marigolds. I tried to grow marigolds from seeds before, but I didn't. it didn't come out too, too well. Then I have my famous garlic in the um, that I start in a cup. And hopefully, I didn't let these dry out too bad. See, roots and shoots. I'm going to put this in some soil. The reason why I'm doing this, and I'm trying some things out, guys. Let me, let me see where you can see me. I'm trying some stuff out because what I'm trying to do is see how well things can grow together. I heard that when you do onions and garlic, there's certain rodents, rodents and pests that don't like the smell of it. So I'm trying to organically, naturally deter people, things that will tear up my stuff. Um, but also encourage, you know, good insects, good things to come around. So we're going to see how it goes. Y'all just rock with me. I'm just trying this, um, and hopefully it'll come out and be beautiful to the eye and beautiful for the eating. Okay. <laughs> um, and if you're looking here, you see, this is a cement mixer that you can get from any of your big box places for probably... I don't know how much I paid for this one. Six, seven dollars, eight dollars, nine at the at the most. I don't know. I don't remember the sticker price for this. But it's just a cement mixer. And I have it on top of a little table, which oh I'm this thing is so heavy. But I wanted to kind of show y'all. Um you see my this is just a cement mixer. And you see this table here? This is just a table I got from Roses for five dollars. Good old roses. Um so that, and then I do my normal, um, did my normal mix, nothing fancy, just some miracle Grow organic for container uh, soil. And I also did, um, when I ran out of that bag, I just had my Jiffy organic potting mix. Um, and then my perlite. And I did add a little bit of garden tone to the soil, just because I thought I should. How about that? Just because I thought I should add a little more uh, organic matter and fertilizer. I'm just going to pull back. I don't even, I'm not even going to use the rake for this. I want to, and because broccoli is supposed to need a lot of full sunlight, even though it likes these kind of temperatures that we're in, it likes full sunlight. And as you can tell, oh, 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 my babies, my babies. As you can tell, don't do that, what I just did. <laughs> as you can see, it's kind of dark on, on this side of my um, my patio. My patio does not get, um, it, in the springtime, let me say, the sun does not come over here early. It's the light. It comes over here last. And, um, and it's really shady right um the sun will come out 
but it'll come, you know, from here like this. So I'm going to put the broccoli on this side. I'm trying to be my attempts <laughs> to be strategic in how I'm doing this. So um, I'm going to trying to make sure that I space my broccoli well because all the broccoli that I've seen grown by other my other gardening community these get big <laughs> and they need space if you want the nice you know full looking broccoli heads and things um, you want to give them room give them room to grow Give it room to grow. That's why I only, actually, it's funny. I only planted three broccoli seeds, and all three broccoli seeds came up. So, that was amazing. One, two. I think I'm gone. Let's put a little space over here. So, I obviously did not have my um my starts very uh moistened soil because i tell you when i take or the soil was just loose be compacted because i tell you the soil around these broccoli starts is just falling falling apart that's okay just gonna have to get these in the ground without messing up the roots all right so and y'all, I hope y'all can hear me good. So, got three. One, two, three. The broccoli starts. Okay. And then, I'm going to try with my scientific non-science. Uh, <laughs> uh, with my uh, experience in botany that I don't have. I'm going to put, let's see. One of my marigold, um, I don't know the proper name here. Okay, one out of the block here. The root, the root, so that's it. It's my marigolds that I got from Lowe's. And I'm just disturbing the roots at the bottom, opening them up, letting them know that they're not in that little small space anymore. So that the roots can go do what they want to do. Do what they want to do. Push it down in here. Boy. It's beginning to look a lot like spring, y'all. <laughs> beginning to look a lot like spring. And I'm actually, what y'all think? I'm, I'm thinking about putting one more patch of marigolds on the other, on the back end, maybe. Sure, why not? Right? It's my garden. I can do it if I want to, right? Ugh. Here's another. I don't know. Y'all tell me y'all opinion, but to me, marigolds do not smell good at all. They stink a little bit. <laughs> um, but those marigold aromas, hopefully they will attract bees. And the bees will pollinate the stuff I need pollinated. And it'll be all good. Let's some more of this dirt, too. As I'm pressing down this dirt, what you'll notice, too, when you fill up these containers, if you don't pack it down, you'll see kind of when you press on it, you get rid of all your little air pockets and stuff, and you actually don't have as much soil as you think you have. So I'm just going to use the soil that I had left from my start, uh, my start and just dump, dump, dump it in there. All right. So now these garlic, which I probe and pray, aren't too dried out. What I'm going to do with them, I'm going to stick them to my paper towel. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did, but I'm gonna I'm gonna plant these right in between the right in between the marigolds. So I'm gonna dump that down in there, and I'll show you. I'll I'll, I'll move the camera so y'all can see in a minute. Dump that down in there and stick it right down there. 
these particular ones probably shouldn't say it like this but I don't care whether they get a full bulb or not I want the um the the shoots to grow and I'm gonna probably har I'm gonna harvest that part and eat that part Let's see. so that's why it doesn't matter to me if it's a little bit crowded if it's a little bit crowded it's okay to me for me let's see what they do let's see what they do I think when they come up and they actually start to form and do and grow it'll look really pretty um, to have that I think that's all I want it's just those three like I said I want stuff to actually grow so I don't want to get ridiculous um, all right and then the last thing the last thing that I want to do in here my spinach I'm just doing direct directly sowing these uh, directly sowing these spinach seeds why because last time I did uh, grow spinach they grew really quickly and really well in a cement container the only problem last time that I tried to do spinach was because um, it was the wrong season so they were bitter and disgusting <laughs> but I'm just gonna do what they call broadcasting which is just not even gonna like dig a hole for each one look I'm dropping seeds as they go these are kind of small I see those Can I see um I'm just going to drop them and I don't need a million we eat spinach oh, okay let, let me change that but well, I cook spinach <laughs> for my family to eat um, and I like spinach in my eggs and things like that. But um, it's not something that we consume so, so much of that I have to uh, have like a thousand million seeds uh, sown. So, I think I did enough seeds. So I'm just going to, I'm going to use my hand. I'm just going to put a little loosely cover with a little bit of dirt because what I don't want I don't even know if you have to do this part but I don't know if y'all hear my friends out there but the birds are hooty hooing to one another and to their people because they know what time it is and I don't want them coming up here and getting my seeds that's just that I would like my seeds to stay in the dirt and grow so I'm trying to make it a little less obvious because I know my bird friends will be out on the hunt just cover as much as I can cover and also y'all know me uh, whenever I get this soil and it's been raining and wet and the soil has been outside it's all damp and kind of muddy consistency I'm not going to overwater this I'm trying to even think about because we got like the forecast is saying that we're going to have like maybe four or five days of straight rain. So I have to consider that that part. I don't want my stuff to come out here and get drowned. But I do want to give it a little nourishment. Because today is going to be a beautiful sunny day. All right, guys. Let's see, what's my final product here? All right, so got my broccoli here. I've got my uh, marigold and I have uh, the garlics here. Another marigold and then I just took this side because spinach is okay with shade. So if this gets not as much sun as the other part, that's okay. So, 
that's that, my people. Um, <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining me uh, today. I hope this encouraged you to get excited and get out there and start if you can start. Um, I really want to talk to you all more um, about the discipline of this whole thing. I watched some great videos. I'm watching great videos um, of other gardeners. And I'm about to go inside because the discipline of me having to get this work done before I do my other work from a regular job. And I think I hear my son calling me <laughs> right now. Um, but I just want to encourage you guys. Y'all just keep growing. Keep going. Remember your space is not too little. Your budget's not too little for you to do a big thing like gardening. And again, my name is April. And I will see y'all next time. Alright, bye-bye.